Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the trivia quiz game that's easy to play in your car with your friends or by yourself. I read the questions, you answer the questions. Keep score if you want, and there's a tiebreaker question at the end of the episode if you need to stick around for that. Today's game comes from San Jose, California. Ruben has sent in 21 random knowledge questions for us. Have fun and good luck on today's quiz. Question number one. In the 1990 film Dances with Wolves, actor Kevin Costner, portraying U.S. Army Lieutenant John Dunbar, mimics a buffalo in an attempt to find the Lakota word for it. The Indian chief responds with the name for buffalo. What is the Lakota word for buffalo that he uses? If you've seen the movie, you can picture Kevin Costner walking around acting like a buffalo and he says the word is Tatanka. Tatanka is the answer. Question number two. Ajanta and Elora are two UNESCO World Heritage Sites in India depicting ancient art and sculpture of three different religions. Buddhism, Hinduism, and Jainism. What state in India are they located? I forgot to warn you, today's quiz is a little bit like a brainy Tuesday. The answer is Maharashtra. Question number three. The song American Pie, written by Don McLean and released in 1971, is about the 1959 plane crash that killed three early rock and roll icons. Buddy Holly and the Big Bopper are two. Who was the third? The day the music died, Buddy Holly, the Big Bopper, and Richie Valens. Question number four. The poem, Mary Had a Little Lamb, was first published in 1830 by Sarah Josepha Hale and later found out to be about a real little girl named Mary. What was the last name of this real Mary? Her name was Mary Sawyer. Question number five. During the U.S. Civil War battle at Gettysburg on July 2nd, 1863, a Union colonel is credited with staving off the Confederates from Little Round Top when he ordered his men to fix bayonets and attack. What was his name? Looking for the name of this U.S. Civil War Colonel who protected Little Round Top. His name was Colonel Joshua Chamberlain. Question number six. In the book of Acts in the Bible, Saul of Tarsus was blinded on a road by the flash of heavenly light. Saul, who later becomes Paul, is instructed by God to go to the city and he will be told what to do. What city is he going to? The answer is Damascus. Paul was going to Damascus. Question number seven. In the J.D. Salinger novel, The Catcher in the Rye, the protagonist Holden wants to be the catcher in the rye to save children from falling off the cliff, a metaphor for entering adulthood. His adventures take place just before which holiday? If you don't know this one, you might have taken a guess, and if you guessed Christmas, you are correct. Question number eight. What is the name of the African-American trumpeter and vocalist who was recognized as one of the most influential musicians in jazz and who had the nickname Satchmo?
His name was Louis Armstrong. Question number nine. In the movie Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, Franklin Mouse Finbar, played by Kevin Hart, has three strengths, two of which are zoology and weapons valet. What is the third? And remember, we're looking for the third strength, not his weakness. I remember his weakness is cake, but we're looking for, <laughs> for his strengths, which is linguistics, zoology, weapons, valet, and linguistics. Question number 10. American painter Thomas Kincaid was a painter of popular realistic pastoral and idyllic subjects. Many of his paintings depicted beautiful scenes and later Disney-themed paintings. Based on his trademark style, how was he referred to? What did they call him? I think there's a book titled this about him. He was called The Painter of Light. Question number 11. There are only three completely intact walled cities of Germany that survived World War II. Besides the cities of Nordlingen and Dinkelspul, which walled city in Germany is celebrated with a large Christmas display and with a Christmas museum? I apologize for my terrible pronunciation of German cities. This one won't be much better. The answer is Rothenburg ob der Tauber. I, I am sorry. Anybody who watches this channel knows that sometimes I can barely speak English, so German is not my strength either. Question number 12. In 2023, which sport had the highest paid athlete who was paid $136 million for one year? The answer is soccer. It was Christian Ronaldo. Question number 13. In the 1949 play Death of a Salesman by American playwright Arthur Miller, protagonist Willie Loman describes a trait that you must have in order to be successful. Besides a smile and a shoe shine, what is this personality trait that one needs to be successful? One of the recurring themes in the book, it is to be well-liked. I'll accept anything that is similar to, to being well-liked. Question number 14. The first Cricket World Cup was played in 1975. And now, as of 2023, which country has won the most Cricket World Cups? The answer is Australia, who has now won five cups. Question 15. In Giacchino Rossini's 1816 opera, The Barber of Seville, what is the name of the barber who assists Count Almaviva in prying the beautiful Rosina away from her lecherous guardian, Dr. Bortolo, so she can be with her one true love? The barber's name is Figaro. Question number 16. In the 2005 remake of The Longest Yard with Adam Sandler, several former NFL players had acting roles. Which former player was cast as the guard Lambert, who played 16 years in the NFL mostly with the San Francisco 49ers and the Denver Broncos? His name was Bill Romanowski. Question number 17. U.S. President John Quincy Adams was given a pet by the French General Marquis de Lafayette, who joined George Washington's Continental Army. What was the pet? 
you can give me the species of pet or the pet's first name. I don't know the first name, but if you knew it, I would be impressed and give you the point. It was an alligator. John Quincy Adams had an alligator. Question number 18. In college football, the University of Texas at El Paso has hosted a bowl game between the Atlantic Coast Conference, or the ACC, and the Pac-12 Conference since 1935. What is the name of this bowl game? The answer is the Sun Bowl. Question number 19. Uptown Funk is a song by British record producer Mark Ronson, featuring American singer and songwriter Bruno Mars. It was released on November 10th, 2014. Which American actress is mentioned in the lyrics? If you're trying to sing the song in your head, go back to the very start of the song. It's the second line. This hit, that ice cold, Michelle Pfeiffer, that white gold. Michelle Pfeiffer is the answer. Question number 20. Canopic jars are pottery containers that were used by the ancient Egyptians during the mummification process to store the viscera of their owner for the afterlife. During the period between 1550 and 1070 BC, the jars were adorned with four different heads, a human, a baboon, a jackal, and what was the fourth? The fourth was a falcon. And that is it for today. This is Ruben who sent in the trivia quiz. He sent in two quizzes. We'll play the, the uh, second one next week. These are some pictures of him on a road trip with some of the official road trippiest swag. I love it when you guys send in pictures like this because it just showcases what this whole channel is about. It's about going out there, driving, having a good time, playing trivia, you know, just enjoying yourselves. And I love seeing the road trippia brand out there being a part of it. I, I love them. Thank you. Anyways, subscribe to the channel if you're not already and you like this kind of trivia and get ready. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. Sir Robert Peel of England is known as the father of modern policing and he founded the Metropolitan Police Force. His officers were called Bobbies, which is the name still used today. What year did he start this police agency? He started the Metropolitan Police Force in 1829. Whichever player got closest to 1829 is going to win the point. You don't have to hit it right on the head. The point of the tiebreaker is if there is a tie before you get to question 21, somebody is going to break that tie and going to win the game. So whoever got closest to 1829 wins the point. Thank you, Mr. Rubin for sending in a great quiz. I look forward to playing your next quiz. I think it'll pop up sometime uh, next week or shortly afterwards, before the end of the year for sure. See you guys tomorrow.